spring has sprung and what a great time of year to do some gardening with your child. Get outside and enjoy doing some gardening. Today we're going to create a fairy garden or a miniature garden. So what you'll need is something to plant in. We are using one of these throw away uh, roasting dishes. You could also use an old mug with a chip in it. And we're also going to use the base of a pot plant, but you could use just about anything, an old saucepan, anything you've got. You need some quality soil. So we've just got some potting mix in here. You need some small plants to plant. We've got a variety of succulents, which are a great choice because they're hardy and easy to maintain. We have got some little pebbles and some plastic gems and some seashells as well. We've also got a variety of little items that you can pick up really cheaply. Little figurines, fairy figurines. We have a dragon figurine, um, little plastic insects, even kinder surprise toys. Anything that you, you think you could use for your garden. We've got some little fencing here, wooden fencing here. You could make these with paddle pop sticks. You can be as creative as you like. So once you've got everything together, the first step is to plant some of your succulents into your soil. Okay, once you've planted your plants, this is the fun part, we get to decorate. So I'm gonna make mine into a bit of a fairy garden. So I've got a fairy and a toadstool, she can go there. What else can I use? I have a little bridge, I might put that in the middle there. Um, I need some fencing for my fairy garden. Put that one in there. And the kids will absolutely love this part. They can be as creative as they like. I'm going to use some little figurines. I'm gonna use these little kinder toys. They can stand there on the bridge. need some colour so I'm going to put some of our little plastic gems down for a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of pizzazz and some of our pebbles. Kids can enjoy taking as long as they want and they can rotate it around and move things around from day to day if they like. I need one more thing, a flower. I think I'm gonna have a flower in the garden too. And maybe on my flower I will have an ant. Here's my ant. And there is my miniature fairy garden complete. Let's make another one. This one is going to be a bit of a different style. We're going to make Dinosaur garden. And now we're going to make a miniature miniature garden using an old teacup. we need to water our gardens. Once a week should be enough in winter. Maybe twice in summer. And of course the children can look at them daily and enjoy growing their very own garden. 